Man of God, I'm Pastor Ruben Langwani from Malawi. I'm wondering exactly what you have uh, explained about this gentleman. Mm -hmm. It's exactly part of the area that I went through. So I said, ah, I'm a pastor, I've been in ministry for a long time, but it seems I was missing something that I didn't know. I'm 54 up to this very age. Mm -hmm. Starting from primary, we live in a tough life at secondary, even going to do tertiary education. I retired with a diploma and I did a degree after retiring. And exactly the life has been so tough. And yet now I'm in ministry and I've raised people, but it seems the life, there's a deep root of poverty that's more like a, in my home, I'm the only person who is a breadwinner, but I cannot show anything, yet I'm a pastor. A marriage issue in the family. Yes, man of God. The sister, the people were are not happy, they started. Yes. Ah. <laughs> my God. Your God is my God. Ah, this is exactly what really happened and uh, everybody was not happy of what happened with my sister. My younger sister got pregnant with a certain man, uh, a boy I should say so, and uh, the family did not accept that. There was no marriage that took place until when I started working I picked her to stay with me. And there was uh, no marriage and uh, what I think was just to take her to stay with me where I was staying so that people should not keep on talking. So, this issue is deep rooted in the family. Yes. Even the sister or the father. Yes. Was the same. She was a bit short. Yeah, yes. My memory is coming back now. Ah, man of God. <laughs> my brother um, first married a certain village and they, they divorced. And it came with the time that he married the cousin. And there was a quarrel to the extent that the wife died. And that brought again disagreement between my father and the sister. The sister was short. Because this brought a curse in the family. Yes, man of God, I agree. All those who want to go and marry, there arose a problem. That's exactly man of God. Have you left the fat pastor? Yes, I, <laughs> I confirm the man of God we are trying to say. I left the senior pastor we are ministering together. <laughs> he was more like stout, like more than me, myself. Because I saw him calling you from the congregation. You, 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 you come. You, 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 you come. And you came up. He said, I'm going to pray for you to become a pastor. Ba, 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 ba. Very true man of God. Yeah. Very, he was fat. Uh, and okay, he, he called me. Uh -huh. <sighs> Our brother wanted to. You know him? Yeah, I know him. He's my actual friend. Whatever he's explaining here, our prophet, is exactly true. He told me about that particular person mm -hmm. calling him out to say, somebody told me I have to come out of the ministry and I have to start my things, it's time now. Even about the limitations and whatever he was explaining, mm -hmm. he told me and we we're like, we just have to go somewhere to get identified. They have to explain destiny, otherwise we are messing up ourselves. So that's why we said, let's go. So we are here for that. You told this to me. No, 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 no. How can we? It's not possible, Prophet, to talk to you. It's just the wisdom of God. Who told me all this? God told you. God told you. So I'm just even amazed that you Why can explain you me. You know, man, I told him, I didn't say, I need just to go there and let me tell on me. Otherwise, I think I'm now useless. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just exactly, he has grown. And he's starting the ministries in the 50s. I said, we need grace. And the wife was the one who was supporting actually him and lost the job now. And he's in ministry and people are there and there are a lot of things happening around. I said, let's go to Uganda. That's why we're here. But uh, you should help the pastor at the market. 
that to send him here for prayer because things are not good for him. If not that, it will take his life. His church is at yeah, the market. That's very true. He has a friend um, from where he was sitting under. That's, he was the first and the, the second, and the church is close to the market somewhere. I know the pastor that we are talking. To me, I confirm it. He was my senior pastor. And as I'm talking now, he told me, he confided in me, trying to say, I have nowhere that I can build a house. I'm just alone. And if I can die today, he said, there's nowhere that I can go because I don't have a land. And my wife was trying to say, if at all we can find something, at least let us help. He's a senior pastor, he's our father. We can do anything that we can do to help him. I confirm with the prophets. So if you don't send him here for prayer, Soon is going to die. Sorry. I have to tell you the truth. Man of God, who try whatever it takes so that you think we should assess him that he comes here. And he has been suffering with a stomach problem. He always complains about the stomach. And he sometimes, when he takes some drink food, he just takes little. Special prayer of deliverance going on for these pastors. And also Pastor Ruben from Malawi. Being set free from the chains of poverty and stagnation. My name is Jesus. Father, I command the spirit of killing, stealing, destruction, go. Have life in Jesus' name. Where the fine brown lady? It's home. It's my wife. It's your wife? Yes, my wife. <laughs> my name is Bishop Ephraim. Uh, the fine brown lady you're talking about is my wife. She is home in Malawi. She sometimes tells you something, but you don't know. You ignore. I confirm, man of God. She advises, you know, let us do it this way and this way. And no, 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 please. I'm the man, you are a woman. <laughs> yeah, that's, I confirm that to be true, man of God. I've said that and I remember having said that several times. And you are losing. Absolutely, man of God, I confirm I've lost a lot. I do ignore my wife in so many things. And obviously that is what has brought me to where I am. Because indeed, even in ministry, there are several things that haven't been in shape. Uh, based on the fact that I took myself to be that man uh, who is a leader. In ministry, for instance, um, as at present, I closed the ministry, absolutely, because uh, after we had the, come out of COVID, um, it was online, and I said, you see, I, I don't see the balance. I have to concentrate on school baby and continue with this. And I felt it, but uh, there was too much imbalances around my life. So I didn't know what to do. I start things, there is limitation and mediocrity, I start things and they come to a place, the end, financially, it's all the same. So I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And I had to be paying for the minister for things, myself, people. I start very well, I shoot a lot of people. At the end of the day, it comes down. And I was asking myself a question, what is this limitation around my life? So her advice was like, no, we have to keep on praying. And uh, you see, we need to make sure that the ministry keeps going on. I did not listen for uh, that we should open it. Because the family in which they come from, they were once a great family. Absolutely true. Very rich people. Absolutely true, man of God. And you're ignoring this. Yes, man of God. The parents being rich, they were little doing very well because the father was a contractor. The family had a very big land. The grandfather, yeah, there is an issue of land. As I'm, yeah, I remember now, uh, in, in, in somewhere in the district in the north, the father went to discuss issues with the chief, whatever they were, like, let's sell it, what not. The land is at the mountain down. I personally haven't been there. I was just taught about the land and so, the issues. Uh, can you use uh, wisdom, part of it, and reach where you want to be? You shouldn't ignore her. Even what she advises you about business, don't ignore her. Ah, <laughs> 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 Crossella. 
Man of God, I confirm that exactly. She told me it's time to do business because we could have money. I had debts and things were just all over the place. So this time around, I said, when we have money, she said, I want to do a sausage business and want to rear chickens. Around here, we have a place. So what if we go that direction? So we were talking and said, okay, I have to go to Uganda. When we are back in the month of May, we are starting that business. God, this is wonderful. Hmm? This is a, so wonderful. I just love the, the guidance of the Spirit in you, sir. This is village. You branch from here, you go, do this, I've made it short, you go. Oh, yes, that's very correct. Yeah, this is where my grandmother stays. There's a lot and we go. This is a village uh, where actually the houses of my grandparents are. There is a lot, this is the main road, so we uh, actually branch here, we go, we reach here. Yeah, so I would want to affirm that one, that this is a village as I can now get a clear picture of what you're saying. And every time you dream, you dream that you have gone back to this place. Absolutely, man of God, and that's very that correct. You see the graves around here. Yes, man of God, that's very correct. There was a time I actually dreamed finding myself in this place. Normally, I don't remember dreams, but there are some that are so conspicuous that I can't forget. And one of it is that particular one that you're talking about. So this is the issue. You people, where you are coming from, the poverty is too much. So... I confirm, man of God. So why don't you use the chance of the woman God gave to you? Amen. And be uplifted. Thank God. I prayed for you people. You are coming back to give your testimony. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah.